So now what we want to do is we want to cut this. So from the XY plane, we're going to create a new sketch. We're going to do a circle, which is the marking menu up to the 10 o'clock position. And we're going to draw this out to 75 millimeters. We're going to rotate this around, stop the sketch. I'm going to hide body one and show body three. And we're going to do an extrude. We're going to go symmetric. We're going to pull this up so that it goes all the way through this blade. Dimension again doesn't really matter. And what we want to do is go to operation and do intersect. We want to intersect, but before we do that, we're going to hide body three. Now we want the intersect to only happen with the blade. The only reason I wanted to show body three is because we have the hub in there. We want to make sure that we're not missing any information. You could, of course, also put a smaller circle in the center of this so we could remove a bit of the hub if the part you're designing has a hollow hub section, which of course it's going to have some magnets and things like that inside of it. But again, in here we're really concerned with geometry and less about accuracy of actually designing a manufacturable fan. So now if we show this, we'll show all three bodies, go back to a front view. You see that we have this blade here. It's still a full blade. It's its own body. Uh, but we have the blade here that shows the geometry we want. We can add some fillets to the edges, F on the keyboard, and we can go to this edge as well as this edge, and we can use that to drag in. Maybe we'll go in two and a half millimeters. Now, one thing that we need to be very aware of, and we're gonna go back to a front view and make sure that we have this, is that that extrude that we did didn't have any draft on it. So this end face does not have any draft and it can't be molded. So we're going to go back to that extrude feature. We're going to right click on it. And sometimes you have to deselect it first, right click on it and edit that feature. We're going to add minus five degrees on it. And we're going to do minus five degrees again. So when we're looking at this, we're really more concerned with the visual aspect of seeing that draft. So back on the front view, if we zoom in now, you can see that we can see this entire face here. We're not too concerned with the fact that it might not have draft on it because I can see that blue all the way down the line until I get to this point here. Now something happens when I get to this point. Let's go back, rotate it around a little bit, hide body one, and see what's going on on this edge. So what it's doing is it's not actually cutting away exactly what we expect. So let's zoom out, go back to this feature, we'll right click, we'll do an edit, and take a look at what's happening here. All right, so that's right at the mid plane, right at the mid plane of that sketch. And it's basically, it's drafting the opposite direction once we go down here. And that's obviously not what we want. We wanna make sure that everything's being drafted in one direction or the appropriate direction. And the way that we can handle this is by deleting some features. We're gonna select them in the, in the timeline, hit delete, select it in the timeline, hit delete. And now we wanna take this Extrude it again. You might have to go back in and actually show that sketch, but we're going to do an extrude. We're going to say symmetric. We're going to say new body. And we're going to make sure that we go all the way through this. In this case, 10 millimeters will give us everything we need and say, okay. Now, the reason that we do it this way, sometimes this has to happen. You can either create a new plane. You can draw your sketch uh, at a lower point instead of drawing it on the XY plane, we could put it on the bottom face of something, and then we could add the draft to it. So this is two different ways that we can go about it. We can go to modify, draft, we can select the pull direction, select the faces to draft, and we can use our widget on the screen to draft those in and out. And notice that when we do this, the pull direction coming from the top gives us basically a fixed edge here, the 75 millimeter edge on the top, and it drafts the bottom outward. So that could be very handy to know uh, when we start to do this. Now we might want to put in a smaller draft, two and a half, and say okay. And now what we've done is we've taken that and we went ahead and we added the draft after the fact. We can go to modify, combine, use the intersect option, and do the target body and the tool bodies. And it gives us the same result, but now if we go to a front view, we have draft all the way down this edge.